Animal Crossing New Horizons is coming to Nintendo Switch on uh, March 20th, I believe. And uh, with it has been a lot of excitement, a lot of anticipation for a game that we're not really aware of what all of the new features are. I mean, we were aware of a couple, I guess, bigger new features, but we're not exactly aware what differentiates this game in totality from all of the other Animal Crossing games. And there's some high expectations because we haven't had a home console one since like City Folk back on Wii. Uh, and it's been eight years since we've had a full-blown Animal Crossing game. You know, Pocket Camp on our phones uh, set aside. It's been eight years since we've had a full-blown Animal Crossing game. Uh, and that was on 3DS. So there's a lot of expectations and hope and excitement for this one. Uh, but so far, the information we have discovered about the game, uh, while small, hasn't exactly been positive. Uh, and that's concerning for a game coming out in 2020 that's supposed to be one of the big games on Switch. And probably will be. It's to, to be fair, it's going to sell very well despite these negative things that are coming out about it. Just like Sword and Shield, despite all of the inter internet negativity around it, it, it's one of the best-selling, if not the best-selling Pokemon games of all time. So let's get into what the news is so we can fairly look at this from a consumer perspective and why these things are actually bad uh, and especially bad for a game considering um, how many hours you're supposed to really sink into a game like Animal Crossing, which is hundreds if not thousands. All right, so uh, as you can see here, the first bit of news came over the weekend. And it said you can only have one island per console in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, this was uh, discovered on, I believe, the Australian, yeah, the Australian official website. Uh, let's read what it says about it on the Australian official website. It says, up to eight players with registered accounts on a Nintendo Switch console can live on one shared island, and up to four residents of one island can play simultaneously on one console. Please note, only one island can exist per Nintendo Switch console irrespective of the number of user accounts registered to or copies of the game used on one console. So uh, that's obviously a point of contention. Let's just read what else it says for context. Uh, one Nintendo Switch and one copy of the game is required for each island. Alternatively, up to eight people can play together on one island via local wireless or online play. Local wireless play requires one console and one copy of the software per player. Internet connection required during online play. To use online services, you must have a Nintendo account and accept a related agreement. Nintendo account privacy policy applies. Some online services may not be available in all countries. Online play requires a paid online membership. So uh, what I get from this, is uh that it doesn't matter if as an example my um daughter has a switch right and i have a switch and uh she wants to put her account on my switch like it is and she wants to play her island of animal crossing but then wants to play it on my switch because we happen to be in a situation where she doesn't have access to her switch she can't um not really uh, because she needs to be able to access the other switch to gain access to that island over wireless play. And even then, is it going to show up properly as still her, even though she's using her account? No, she'll be stuck playing on my island on my switch. This is, um, th this is weird because this is one of the first times I can remember that if you have multiple people play on a system, they can't have their own save file basically is what this is. They, like, they can exist, but they can't exist in their own thing. Um, it's a shared island per console. That is a very strange decision. Now, it's not strange to allow that as an option, but it shouldn't be the only option for families like me that maybe we don't want to share our island with our children and we want our children to have their own island and then we want to have our island with our friends or whatever. Uh, we can't really do that on the same system. Uh, we have to go through all this hullabaloo of playing online and other people hosting, and it's just not its not exactly the shared experience or the individualized experience that I think we've all come to expect from Nintendo games over time. And I get that for most of us, this probably won't be a big deal because we don't share our Switches, we don't use multiple accounts on our Switches. As a parent, that's obviously something I deal with, but that's not something that is necessarily common with a lot of people that watch my videos. So I can see how this might not be a major concern for you, um, but this next one is, and this is a major concern for everyone playing Animal Crossing the same way it was for Splatoon 2. All right, says you're on Nintendo Life that you might not be able to transfer Animal Crossing New Horizons save data to another Switch. Um, and what happened is there was a post of the back of the system on 
the Nintendo Switch subreddit from German. It's the German back of the box. Um, and it reveals uh, that it won't be possible to transfer data between two separate Switch consoles. So you won't be able to take your data off of this console and transfer to another. The same thing's basically true. Uh, well, it's not really actually exactly true of Splatoon 2 because you can transfer Splatoon 2, save data to another Switch system, but this is saying you can't even do that. Um, and, it, and it says it, uh, it says it right in, I believe, right in this area here. And uh, I don't, I don't read German, so I'm Nintendo Life's based in Europe, so I'm going to assume that they're, you know, that they can translate it just fine. Um, obviously, if you played Animal Crossing in the past, you know it demands a lot of your time. So if this is in fact true, it means you won't be able to carry your save file across to newer systems. So if you get a Switch Pro or whatever in the future, you won't be able to transfer your save data, at least as this is currently stating from your current switch to another one or if you want to switch over to a light because there's people who likes to transfer data back and forth uh and the cloud save system makes that convenient you won't be able to do that here um because here's the thing we already know this doesn't support cloud backups it's even noted here in the in the article it says nintendo has already confirmed the upcoming switch release won't be compatible with cloud backups either in order to avoid manipulation of time which i don't know why nintendo even cares about if people are manipulating time um, it's been something people have been doing in Animal Crossing dating all the way back to the original release on GameCube. It's been a fundamental thing that people have done with it all these years. I don't know why Nintendo cares if we do it or not. It's part of us enjoying the game. It's not like we're cheating. It's not like this is an online competitive game. It'd be different if this was like an online competitive game. It's a personalized experience or one you now share with friends. I don't really know why time manipulation matters to Nintendo so much, especially since they, at least as far as we're aware, are not putting microtransactions in this version of the game. So I can understand time manipulation could affect their ability to earn revenue for certain items, but uh, that's not been the case. I'm, I'm, I don't get, again, I don't understand why Nintendo just doesn't do cloud backups for every game. I didn't understand it for Splatoon. I mean, I understand how Splatoon is built. It makes it harder to do it, but Splatoon should have never been built that way. Same thing with Animal Crossing. Uh, so this is a big deal. This is a big, if we can't even transfer um, to another Switch system, like locally, that is a problem. That is a big problem, and one that Nintendo should not be just, hey, it's okay, wash our hands of it. It doesn't matter. Um, it does matter. It's important that we can protect our data. Just like it's important that people think game preservation and ROMs and stuff should be left alone because you know we want to make sure every game that's ever released is available for everyone for all time. This is also one of those things where, hey, whatever we create, it would be really nice if we could do something about it. And that's what sucks is that stuff like this stuff that like decisions like this kind of justifies the existence of nintendo switch hackers because you know what nintendo switch hackers they don't care they laugh at news like this because you know what they already have homebrew on their system and they can back up all their files locally to a pc like hackers can do something that is a convenience for consumers that nintendo is just taking away and i think that's what's really frustrating about this news because animal crossing again it's the biggest thing nintendo has coming probably for the entire first half of this year there'll be some other games and stuff like that you know i believe doom eternal is supposed to come out uh, you know uh, basically the same day um I know there's going to be other games as well. Uh, the Wonderful 101, I believe, that just got funded on Kickstarter is going to be out on Switch before, before you know, the first six, before June, basically. But why is Nintendo's biggest release, their their big seller, um, treating consumers this way? And again, I don't think this is going to affect sales. I, I really don't think there's going to be people who are like, oh, we're not going to buy Animal Crossing now because I can't transfer my save data. Um, but it does, man, with, with a system you can drop and... Uh, memory cards that could get corrupted and like all this stuff that you can't back it up you can't transfer i this is concerning and you combine this with the fact that you know th th they're just making it so you can only you know have one island per switch you, you couldn't even do two or three or, and have different groups of people if you want and like th that's just i hate it i i don't know what else to say i i hate what they have announced or at least at least drip fed out there about this game um even though the actual gameplay is probably going to be great, the actual game itself is going to be good. It's going to be fantastic. It might even be the best Animal Crossing game ever made, for all we know. But man, like these are some bare bones features, and they're just, nope, sorry. Sometimes Nintendo is just going to Nintendo things. And usually when people say that, it's in a negative context. And I hate bringing negativity, but uh, that's what's happening. So. 
You guys let me know what you think about this news down in the comments below. I'm 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 a little frustrated. I'm still excited for the game. Let's just be honest. I'm still picking up Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, it, it's it, it's been eight years. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and wait another eight years for one that has you know the ability to transfer save files and stuff. Like I'm not gonna deprive myself of fun just because of this. But it is a disappointing thing to find out. Um, anyways, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. Uh, it feels good to be back, folks, and I'll catch you in the next video.